Hello everyone, welcome to my channel NASAC. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm starting a new series of lab for McAfee EPO, ePolicy Orchestrator 5.10. I'm starting this series of video because it is my recent engagement with McAfee product. And I'm hoping this can give those person who is new to McAfee EPO product a clear idea how to install, configure, and manage this product. Let's start it with installation. For my EPO lab, this is a basic topology. We will have a cafe EPO installed on 192.168.2.237. I already have my MS SQL database installed on 192.168.2.236. And also AD has been set up 51sec.local. This is my domain. IP 192.168.2.14. Gateway is 2.1. Now for gateway, we can go to internet. You might also wondering where you can get the software. Actually, McAfee have a free trial for downloading. Click support from McAfee homepage. There's free trials. Then browse free trials by product category. Select security management. You will see McAfee EPO 5.10 for downloading. Of course, you need to register your account to download this product. I already have it downloaded on my virtual machine. This is a Windows 2016 and I also joined into domain already. Software has been copied over. I already downloaded it and unzipped it on a desktop. Before we can start the installation wizard, I want to make sure a couple of things to be ready first. You may want to have your SQL Server installed first. If you haven't done that, you can look at the video description and find out the post link how to quickly install MS SQL Server 2016 in probably 10 minutes. You may also take a look at the product documentation. That's very important for any product installation. Review the release guide. So right now 5.10, update 10. So review the release guide. And take a look at installation guide. I'm going to do single server installation. So look, take a look at this single server installation workflow. Make sure you understand what you're going to do for installation. Last but not least, support platforms. You want to make sure your installation platform, for example, OS, SQL Server version, OS version is compatible, supported based on using 2016, which is yes. And also I'm, I'm using MS SQL Server 2016, which is yes. You can use in Express version as well if you want download in 2017, 16, or even 19 Express, which is free. Just throw into your server, it will work. Once you reviewed all those documentations, you can start the installation. I'm using Virtual Machine VMware Workstation. I gave it uh, like 8 gig RAM for virtual CPU. Um, you can have 4 gig RAM, that's uh, not a problem. I tried that before. Processors, more is better, at least two virtual CPU. I already unzipped the list, downloaded the installation file. So what we can do right now is just right click, run as administrator. Next, so there's some software will need to be installed first. They will automatically install those for you. Mm -hmm. 
next. It's going to search in for domain controller. Eventually, you're going to search for SQL database as well. If you have SQL Server in the same domain, then you should be able to find it. One thing you need to remind, please make sure your SQL Server firewall has opened the port for your EPO to connect into it. 1433, 1434. So unfortunately, McAfee EPO couldn't find a SQL Server. You can manually do it. Database server, you can put either host name or either IP address. I will put IP address. I'm going to change to SQL authentication to make it simple. The port, you can customize it, the port, or you can leave it default. Next. In my previous lab, I already have EPO, EPO, do you want to delete this database? Yes. So if you have same names database created before, you can just delete it from here, which I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, there's some warning message here, which is OK. Let's kind of finish. The database has been connected, and now we are configuring HTTP port information. Keep it simple, make it default, go to the next step. Now you need to set up the admin password for your login to EPO. So for me, I'm going to use also the passphrase which is a um, very long passphrase. I think it's um, 16 characters or 18 characters. Now, now you have choice if you have license or you are evaluating this product. Um, evaluation, next. So I have three months to play with this product, which is, should be enough for my lab environment. OK, accept the TOC and do installation. It will take a bit of time to get it done. I will pause the recording and come back once it's done. OK, the installation wizard completed. We can check, yes, to launch McAfee EPO. The whole installation took probably 20 minutes. By default, they're going to use an IE, which is going to give us lots of problems on that. Since I already installed the Google Chrome before, we can set it as default. Next time, it can be directly launched. So let's type in the username password. We are in right now, and there's a welcome to EPO. You can quickly browse it to see all the uh, interfaces. So right now, there's nothing. There's no system. 
there's no product being imported. So that's pretty much everything for the installation EPO. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel. Thank you.